The lead of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, came out with an official statement regarding, on the, regarding the boycott of the opposition members of parliament until an apology is issued to the opposition members. We all know this was first attempted by the interim lead of opposition, Mwanga Chivumbi, who uh, uh, ordered his troops within parliament to walk out. Okay? I, I did a video in... Uh, uh, about this and if you miss this i'm going to leave a link here in the dis in the description so today the lead of opposition came out with, with an official statement because as we know on the independence day the police and the military uh, came out to block the nup press conference which was aimed at praying for those who are detained who who were detained by uh, security agencies so in this video i've come to explain to you the official position of the or the official position of the opposition members of parliament regarding their boycott of parliament, what it can bring, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Sechitole Goyasin, a political prisoner who has been in incarceration for more than three years. to demand of government that we are still demanding for a statement on the floor of the house and that statement must bear an apology a commitment and an undertaking that those actions will not be repeated again because they have no space in law and common sense that what they did what they've been doing with impunity has no premise or basis of law, but action of impunity. And as members of parliament, on behalf of our common peoples, we're not going to look on as we see policies becoming vulgar and that the NRM leaders are half about disrespecting, desecrating our party offices, including um, stopping the opposition from doing a simple act of humility, which is prayer. And in their warped wisdom, praying is uh, an illegality. And then so that is the leader of opposition when he was asking for the, for the apology of the security agencies. Although the chief whip of parliament came out to say that the government is not going to apologize, but is not the spokesperson of the security agencies. I, it, it is right for the opposition to come out and demand this because it is a sign that the opposition is using the flow of parliament to fight for their own rights there is no sane person in the country who believes in democracy that can come out and say that the acts of all such all security agencies are entrenched uh, within the constitution because they broke the constitutional order by blocking the prayers of the opposition parties and this has ever worked. We all remember when uh, MPs boycotted the sitting of parliament until the, uh, uh, the state minister for security came out to clarify on the abductions of, of the NUP supporters. So I think the leader of opposition is doing the right thing. Okay? Because if the parliament is left for, on, for, all, for only NRM members, no, it is a great message not only to the regime, but also to the outside world that uh, uh, this leadership is uh, is continuing to grip to grip onto power using unconstitutional means and putting into account that the speaker was once in the opposition so he knows the plight of opposition or he, he knows the plight of the opposition members in fact <clears throat> when he got a formal communication from the leader of opposition he agreed that this is how business is supposed to be done so I think boycotting the sitting of parliament is the right uh, step towards the right direction. Because at all, if the opposition members of parliament continue attending parliament as if nothing happened, 
they will be, be betraying those who are in in prisons those who are detained okay i keep on telling people that parliament has a lot of powers parliament has a lot of things it can do parliament can influence policy can parliament can influence a lot of people but uh, unfortunately majority members of parliament are from within the ruling party how oh, i wish that even within the ruling party we had a a, a, a fraction of people who believed in human rights okay because it is unfortunate people who can influence policy like the minister of justice is quiet okay and many more others of course that's my opinion you can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video thank you very much for listening in if this is your first time on this youtube channel i employ you to subscribe like and comment so that i can be motivated to do more of such videos i'll see you on another one Peace.